Hi Aries, welcome to your reading. I am Amber. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, especially if this reading resonates. If you would like to book a personal reading, you can do that on my website. The link is always down below in the description box. Um, this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I'm going to be, of course, pulling energies that are concentrated in the month of November, but I'm going to be focused on your 11th house. The 11th house rules our friendships, groups, communities that we come from. It can also um, extend to social circles, colleagues, um, tribes, festivals, things of that nature. Um, it's very much so the house of friends overall. Um, it's ruled by Aquarius. It can be a rather rebellious house. That's typically uh, what our friendships embody, right? We tend to get with our friends and be um, more daring, more outgoing, or whatever the case may be than we would be by ourselves. I'm going to be uh, looking at your breakthrough this month. I'm going to pull um, a recent past, the present, and the near future. And um, as far as your allies are, who you can depend on in regards to your breakthrough this month, who you need to be aware of. Um, we're going to get you some advice, et cetera, et cetera. Um, those of you that don't know as well, I have also released a collection of charged, caged crystals. They're available on the website. This is a snowflake obsidian. They come in all different sizes, variations. All right, so if you'd like to get um, a charged crystal, you can definitely do that on my website. Holy Spirit, Guardian Angels, my beloved, beloved ancestors, thank you for allowing me to be the vessel to give messages to Aries for their highest good and their highest good only. All right, Aries. I kept seeing uh, a moon energy, all right? A lot of you guys could be in a space of releasing. Others of you are in a space of reflecting. Um, this may particularly resonate um, for those of you that have a moon in Aries, all right? But anyway, let's see what the strongest message is for you, Aries. What is the strongest message spirit what's the strongest message you have two wow this card came out in your pre-shuffle overcoming obstacles it says you can overcome anything okay and then you have miracles very very beautiful it says expect the wondrous to emerge I really, really like this for you. Um, wow. Bottom of the deck, you have infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. I'm going to ask one more time. I just would like one card, Spirit. What is the strongest message, please? The strongest, strongest message for Aries. I could just have one card. You got the same card that Virgo got? Interesting. It says, love flows through you and to you some of you guys a Virgo could be of some sort of significance bottom of the deck okay stepping into power you are strong beyond measure now look Aries you about to show out in this reading and I can already tell <laughs> I can already tell um okay that is weird I feel like I should start over, but I'm not going to do it like that, Spirit. In your recent past, you have the Four of Cups. Wow. In your present energy, you have the Five of Cups. And in your near future, you have the Ace of Wands. Externally, you have the Two of Swords. Do you know what you don't want or you know what you don't want? Okay, with the Four of Cups, very heavily an energy of rejection. Um, lack of enthusiasm there's also an energy of either believing that something better is coming knowing that something better is coming or just having a mere hope that something better is coming okay in the near past or in the recent past 
and your uh, present energy right now, you have the five of cups. Is very heavily about regret, sorrow. Some of you guys, I feel like with this four of cups being in your recent past, somebody tried to make you some type of offer, extend some type of love, um, an apology or something of that nature. And maybe you kind of shunned them or you were like, yeah, I'm going to take a rain check on this person. With the five of cups here, either this is you or this is the cross watcher. Somebody's regretful that they didn't take the original offer um reason being is because you've had an opportunity to explore another commitment another agreement another group of friends another arrangement another job something of that nature um and you're rather disappointed about it with the five of cups but what you don't know okay and what's right behind you is the ace of wands an opportunity number one to start off fresh um start our start off with something that is very very um abundant clearly you have infinite abundance here definitely an energy of a new day dawning there's a lot of um emotional energy some of you guys could be feeling or could have been feeling over the last several weeks maybe over the last month or so like depressed tired like I said, very reflective, more so reflective in your energy than you have been um, in the actual action of reflection, of, of reflecting. Um, also, too, Mars is going to be going direct in your sign on the 13th of November. A lot of you guys have been waiting for that, for you to be able to recharge. You've been recharging or you're in the process of recharging so that you can take some type of new action, some type of new leap, some type of... Uh, new project new arrangement for some of you guys this is a new business endeavor a new job a new industry um definitely an energy of feeling free okay uh i'm glad i didn't start over for those of you that have virgo in your chart or you're dealing with a virgo their reading was particularly about being let let go like let me go um and it's interesting because i'm looking at this ace of wands and i just noticed this uh wild horse in the back like off in the off to the races you know is the energy that i'm feeling from this tell me about the four of cups being here in the recent past for aries thief mm. yeah somebody been playing with you somebody's been playing with your time your energy your emotions treating you like an option okay distant horizons here on the bottom of the deck this could kept coming out actually um tell me about the five of cups being here for the present energy Ooh, sudden wealth mm, coming definitely into some type of alignment into some level of abundance but you're being very introspective about this now being right now being very quiet you're mourning the end of something because you know that there's something brand new up. I feel like you know this on more of a subconscious level than you do um, on a conscious level. Tell me about the Ace of Wands, please. Some of you guys then stole something from somebody else. An opportunity. Like, as I say that, you have occupation. Um, like you didn't stole an opportunity or something of that nature um, from somebody else. My crown chakra is going off as I say that. Official person on the bottom of the deck, on the top of the deck. Okay, you have change. I want to read this thief card. Hmm. Huh. I normally read the cards intuitively for those of you that are returning you know that but this deck i don't use it all that often i'm feeling really really drawn to read this this says this is a very challenging and negative card in a dark and foggy alley in distant gas lamps on the wrong side of marble arch we meet the rag muffin pickpocket the thief literally this card means theft embezzlement loss either material or emotional okay if the card is in front or above the significator you may recoup the lost behind below or far away and when reinforced by other challenging cards it's likely gone forever more abstractly it stands for what's been taken away removed separated distant okay or absent 
thief can stand for few or fewer in contrast with in contrast with card 11 uh, sudden wealth which can stand for many when this card appears you should be worn in either in it either indicates a loss, not just in the literal sense of a theft, but simply missing out on something. The thief card can sometimes represent dis dishonesty of thought and approach rather than a physical act. Just remember and consider that what was honestly earned is genuinely yours. This card represents loss or theft of any kind, be it money, goods, love, or friendship. If it's ahead of the significator, there's a good chance of recovering the loss. But if it's distant, the loss is permanent. So that is very spot on. Now, I'm getting chills. <laughs> the same thing happened in Cancer's reading, okay? And I'm pretty sure I made a worldly prediction in Cancer's reading, but that's a whole nother uh, situation and conversation. When I say the same thing happened in Cancer's reading... Um, I used these cards. A particular card came out. I felt like I should read it. And the definition uh, directly referenced the next card. <laughs> so that was really, really excellent um, as far as clarification goes to know that there isn't, this isn't like a physical um, loss or theft. This is like I told you from the very beginning before I even read it, I feel like it has. More, it's more so related to your emotions and energy of feeling like you missed out on something or someone or you're a bit depressed um, or you have a lack of motivation because there's someone who's currently absent from your life. Some of you guys, this is a child, okay? Just straight up, that's what I'm seeing here. Some of you guys, this is a child or it's a parent or something of that nature, okay? Um, also too, with the five of cups being here with sudden wealth, some of you guys are going to be inheriting some money because of some type of loss. Okay. I don't like that energy. Okay. Um, Yeah, very heavily. I feel like there's a there's a set. Uh, there it might not be a small few of you. There may be more than a few of you that have recently lost someone, quite literally. And this Ace of Wands that's right on the horizon. You guys are going to be coming into some type of wealth or some type of inheritance that provides you a new start. Um, others of you where this is strictly related to your emotions, there is going to be a new start with someone who you believe um, you lost out on because. With this Four of Cups and this Five of Cups, it's also a Nine of Cups energy. Some of you guys are reflecting on um, the idea or the realization that you maybe were selfish in a particular situation. Don't be offended, vice versa. Um, there could be someone who is reflecting on how they were selfish in a particular situation. This could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio particularly. Heavy on the Scorpio. I definitely feel an energy of someone taking a risk on you or you taking a risk on someone else. Now, this is so beautiful. I think what you're coming into with the Ace of Wands and occupation here, I feel like I should read this one too. But Ace of Wands with occupation, clearly some of you guys are having like, this is a brand new business. This is a brand new job. This is a brand new start. This is moving into a new state, into a new home, a new city or whatever the case may be. Some of you guys, it's moving into a new position a new uh, found passion, possibly because you took some time reflecting on what wasn't working, what wasn't fitting uh, for you. They're telling me to read it. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Okay, I'm not, not going to be defiant. I am not going to be defiant. Occupation. It says, here we meet with a, stream, a seamstress in her working room, stitching fabric, on a treadle, on a treadle sewing machine. She appears to be deeply absorbed and working late into the evening. She's doing skilled handwork as a trade, 
but it is hard and not well paid. This worker doesn't have a cushy desk job with a bright career. This card can represent self-employment, freelancing, DIY work, piece work, what you cobble together. From her sense of absorption, it can also represent a hobby, a sport, a craft, or a vacation, avocation, avocation you devote much effort to. And thus it means starting something, beginning a project, spending a lot of effort. Uh, this card is usually associated with the autumn, with autumn or fall, and that's very much so here. So definitely this is something that is going to be happening uh, very quickly, possibly in the next seven weeks next some of you guys this is the next seven days like this this is something that is happening okay um possibly something that you've been waiting for since july or there are some of you guys that have a cancer um that is directly influencing this new beginning for you it says pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work quoted from aristotle Occupation indicates all mental and physical activities, for example, sports, hobbies, or your daily work in the context of a relationship. It may indicate that the questioner is working on the relationship to overcome difficulties. Of course, it is a key card for a job. This card refers to handcrafting, working in the arts, doing work you enjoy. You could be working for a company if it's your chosen career path. It means self-employment in combination with card 26, and it can also be manual work, but somewhat pleasant, such as gardening. Okay. All right. So let's jump into what this is all about. There's clearly some, like when I can't, I cannot even take my eyes off of this. Okay. Like some of y'all had a bright idea to do something, to start something. It's going to pay off. You see. You're going to see. Tell me about Thief with the Four Cups being here, please. You have daily habits coming out as an issue. This is interesting because this fell out in the beginning of Virgo reading. Although it didn't come out in their reading when I was pre-shuffling, this fell out. So it says self-care, morning, evening, success routines, make healthy choices, cumulative effects, and subliminals. Yeah, some of you guys are feeling cheated as far as your time goes. Some of you guys are not sleeping well. Some of you guys need to start honoring yourself. Taking this as a resting period before something brand new begins. Um, tell me about the five of cups being here with sudden wealth. Beliefs coming true, coming out as an issue. Some of you guys, again, it's kind of like a stagnant energy, um, being hyper-focused emotionally on what was. Um, and be very, very careful and very mindful of that, particularly those who might have a significant placement of Virgo or are dealing with a Virgo because you may be delaying this manifestation. This is crazy. I feel like some of y'all are dealing with a Virgo or you have Virgo in your chart. Tell me about the Ace of Wands with the occupation here. You have two. Ooh. Darkest before dawn. And you have say affirmations. Breakdown before breakthrough. Major shift is in progress. Dissolving barriers and ascending. It says state as I am while manifesting. Happens in the present tense, in present life. Believable to you. Yeah, very much so an energy of you, be able, you becoming what it is that you sought to become. But externally, you have crisis. You have trust the process. So there are some things that I feel like are whipping up around you that are making you very uncomfortable, possibly even discouraged. Please do not uh, be discouraged. There is something very beautiful on the horizon. I feel like you're in a space of a clearing. You may not have any control of this. It may be more of like a Mars energy, tower energy. Things are kind of just like falling apart. Being very like Things are being very disruptive of your schedule, of your sleep, of your quote-unquote daily habits. It's for a reason because whatever daily habits you have had up until this point are not going to be fitting for the position that you're moving into, um, for the abundance that you're about to come into. That is why all of these things are changing around you, okay? Tell me how Aries feels about this being your situation in November. Mm, uh, wow, the chariot with the seven of wands. <laughs> 
look if y'all done with a virgo go watch it you got virgo on the bottom of the deck you have the five of cups here now in a second deck of cards very heavily some of you guys could be dealing with a virgo you could be dealing with someone who has cancer leo virgo in their chart Capricorn they could be at a distance someone's coming in towards you I also feel like this person may be coming in right as you're having a victory in another like section of your life um tell me one more time spirit what it is that Aries thinks about this being their situation mm, the eight of cups yep like I said you're mourning having to walk away from something you're mourning the end of something mm-hmm some of you guys have to make some serious sacrifice for what it is that you're preparing to receive. This is also, you see this Ace of Cups is spilled over. It's, it's, it's like somebody either disrespected a loving gesture that you made or you disrespected a loving gesture um, that somebody else made towards you. What he has back here in reverse is the Six of Cups. So I feel like you maybe try to reconcile with someone. The Six of Cups is also a return of um, a friend or a lover. Possibly someone who was breadcrumbing you is hoping that they're going to have another option, another go around, right as you're deciding to move away or seek alternatives. Ten of Swords on the top of the deck. Page of Pentacles, you're shifting your focus, shifting your time and your energy to another situation, to a new commitment, a new project, and there's someone who is on the way. Don't say I didn't tell you so. Tell me more about the Eight of Cups being here for how Aries views this situation. <laughs> the Queen of Cups. Yeah. You have some reservations about whoever this is. Mm-hmm. I don't know why I feel an energy of like somebody acted like too good. Mm -hmm. Now they're coming back around. Okay, some of you guys might also have Sagittarius in your chart. I don't know why I'm hearing a Nicki Minaj good form. Um, some got good for them. Okay. But I feel like this person was bound by some other options. Look at there. You have the two of wands and the six of cups. Some of you guys, too, there are children that are like affecting this relationship or things didn't work out in the past because of a, of a child dynamic. Okay, tell me one more thing about the eight of cups and the queen of cups being here. Mm, King of Pentacles is coming out as an issue. Heavy on the Virgo energy, guys. Okay, and then you have the queen of swords. Somebody's trying to separate themselves from something. And they look hell on earth trying to separate themselves from somebody. Yeah, somebody's already committed to something, already is invested in something, or was, and that's why they couldn't accept your gesture or your offer. How does Aries view this King of Pentacles? This is not your energy. The Ace of Cups. This is where this offer is coming from. Mm -hmm. Now, it's what's interesting. Okay. Because how you have this here, this is this person who you have some type of reservation about, right? Let me put this down for a second. Eight of Cups, this is how you're viewing this. You walked away from somebody or you are about to energetically or emotionally attach from your, from a situation. You've already mourned it. It's basically over. It's in the past. You're done with it, right? And uh, whatever you learn from this person, right? Because Eight of Cups, it's a very karmic energy. Um, it's taught you to be a little bit withholding when it comes to your love and your emotions, although you have a lot to give. Now, this King of Pentacles over here, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, um, Scorpio, particularly, it could be an earth or a fire sign, um, is regretful that they walked away, okay? And when I asked how you view this person, it's the Ace of Cups. So now that you're viewing this person this way, you have a cup, they have a cup, it is a Ten of Cups vibration. So something is very dreamy, um, very much so like emotionally fulfilling about this situation, about this person that you've been um, involved with in the past and is possibly coming back around with this Eight of Cups being here. What's Aries breakthrough? In this situation in the month of November. Mm. 
the four of pentacles and the six of wands yeah so some of you guys like i said holding back okay with the four of pentacles that's typically an energy of being closed off at the heart space but i don't really feel like you've been closed off um you've been more so protective of your heart space why because you have the thief here in the four of cups somebody missed an opportunity on you i definitely feel like you are the missed opportunity here Someone's mourning, particularly a water sign, like I said, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, could be significant in their chart. They could also have Earth, a very significant placement of Earth in their chart. But whatever you've been doing, holding back from this person, not speaking, sorry. I'm sorry, y'all heard something in my house, look. I'm spiritual, but I shoot that gun. I'm, look, I'm just saying. Anyway, Aries, my bad. Anyway, <laughs> you have the four of pentacles with the six of wands. Um, something that you've been doing with, uh, like, towards this person holding back, not speaking to them, not communicating to them, not giving to them, or being loving, um, not being available emotionally is going to bring you, is bringing you some level of success. Clarify the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, please. This person is really regretting that they held back from you. Let me tell you. Look, privileged lady, I'm telling you. Somebody is seeing you very differently now. They didn't change their mind. And look, they have a false person here. Because they've been living. They've been moving wrong. They've been moving around with the wrong person is very much so an energy that I'm feeling. I feel like this person is going to be moving out and moving on from it. Hence, you have the King of Pentacles here coming out as an issue. Um, tell me more about uh, Aries breakthrough with the Four of Pentacles and the Six of Wands being here. It's the sun. Wow. 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 Like, you are so happy and content right now being alone. Nine of Pentacles with the Sun card here. This is, this is, okay, this is amazing. Definitely an energy of it being darkest before dawn. Like I told you from the very beginning, um, you're occupied with your happiness, with your projects, with starting over fresh, right? And you have darkest before dawn. What's coming out is some type of commitment i can't make it up uh first off <laughs> the minor arcana to the sun is the ace of pentacles now with the nine of pentacles being here with the sun it's an energy of like this person maybe already offered you something but it's but it wasn't solid and they're coming back around to offer you something solid nine of pentacles here with the four of pentacles it's a five of pentacles energy it could definitely be a tourist but i'm telling you this person misses you this person feels like they missed out on an opportunity um bottom of the deck you have the four of wands and the king of swords this person's somebody's coming out of some type of agreement relationship tell me about where this is headed with the sun and the nine of pentacles this is it's going to the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving. This person's coming out of that Five of Pentacles energy, Four of Pentacles energy, holding back, missing you, re being regretful, right? The Thief with the Four of Cups. I told you it's a loss. It's more of an emotional loss. More than it is a physical loss, but now this person wants to give and receive. It's like they're turning their back on whoever they were originally giving and receiving with instead of you there it is the ace of pentacles with the tower this is going to come all of a sudden some type of offer somebody's going to take some type of risk on you I, that's clear here very clear um how is this going to make aries feel i still feel like you're rather reserved about it or you're gonna be rather reserved six of cups it's somebody coming back around it's some type of reconciliation i do feel like you're gonna be nostalgic but five of wands on the bottom of the deck with the king of cups you're reserved about this mm -hmm. you're reserved so now you have the king of cups and the queen of cups here 
Five of Swords, Four of Cups, very much so an energy of being reserved. Not really communicating or communicating very little about whatever it is that this person is offering you. I do feel like ultimately you're going to end up working on something with this person, but it may take a while. It may not be something that transpires in the month of November, a full-blown like, yeah, let's do this. Let's work this out. Let's get back to dating. You know what I mean? Let's get back together because you're occupied with something with the Ace of Wands here in occupation. Like I said, this person is showing up when you are in the midst of receiving or embracing some type of victory. Four of Pentacles, look, Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, you're getting love, okay? Passion, career, this is amazing, Aries. And this is, I can't, let me not forget, like what you have here externally in this deck from the very beginning is the Two of Swords. Whatever, it's like, nah, I don't want it. Let, let me think about it, you know? Yeah, this like externally, this final notice, I feel like this is more so your energy, is mutable energy. Um, you have some type of, you're going to end up having some type of decision to make, but I feel like it's a decision that you feel like you already made. With the Five of Cups here, you've already mourned this person and moved on emotionally. Um, what type of action should Aries be taking during the month of November? You have the Page of Swords coming out as an issue. Definitely focusing on your healing, being very slow to speak, slow to decide. Tell me more about the Page of Swords being here. There's also an energy of paying attention, being cognizant, the Knight of Swords. Yeah. This is, this is very much, it's not delayed communication. It's like this person is was to text you or reach out, possibly a, a, someone who has, um, I keep getting like mutable energy, Virgo, Gemini, Sagittarius, Pisces particularly. Um, but it's like, if this person reaches out to you and they're like, hey, how you been? It's then one word answers, good. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, um, I miss you, okay. You know what I mean? Like, it's very much so pragmatic. Like, there's not going to be much emotion that's exchanged in these first exchanges with this person. Or at least it's not recommended. There's something that you need to pay attention to. And this is coming back out with the Eight of Swords. Um, this Seven of Swords on the top of the deck with the Queen of Wands. When this person comes back around, look, can't make it up. When this person comes back around... It's more so out of some desire to escape what it is that they're currently involved in or what they chose over you. Um, look at all this fire. Like, look at this burning up. You know what I mean? The Queen of Wands, this is you. This is your energy. Um, but the Queen of Cups was already out here. And so that more so gives me a vibe that you're either the third party when this person first comes around and talks to you they haven't finished out something they haven't closed out some type of cycle but they're so like feverant so urgent um to get away from this person or to get out of this situation so that they can start something new with you it's very hasty okay but i'm telling you this person's still doing something sneaky with the Seven of Swords, Queen of Wands, Ace of Swords, you may end up calling them out on it. That's also something that I see here. It's like, this is like an energy of embarrassment. Uh, being convicted is kind of the energy that I'm getting. Um, let me see something. Tell me a little bit more about um, what, what, should, what should Aries be mindful of? The star what you asked for did you ask for truth okay and so when this person comes back around did they offer you truth if they didn't offer you for if they didn't offer up any truth then they didn't they're not offering you what it is that you manifested what you asked for and it's okay for you to say nah i'm good queen of cups right she holding her hand over her cup i don't want none of that 
two of swords i don't want to no i don't want to you know what i mean tell me more about the star could be an aquarius particularly that you should be mindful of tell me about this star being here the five of wands yeah there's still competition there are other individuals that are around it's also an energy of either wanting to continue to compete with this person and whatever other people they have going around this person this person is operating out of anguish it's very much so an escape artist type of energy to be honest with you it's like this person it, it's an energy of fleeing a scene which is typically what the seven of swords is it's it's like somebody returning to the scene of a crime something went wrong with this situation and they know it and you know it and you want it to be addressed but this is more so an energy of this person pretending that nothing happened now what you have here is the ten of pentacles and the eight of pentacles like i said it is an energy of this person coming from a space of desiring to work on something with you but you still have some level you have some type of boundaries you need to be aware of your boundaries with the sun here in the eight of pentacles i also feel like something is going right at home something is going right and at, at your workplace in your workplace and then hear this person come be mindful be mindful who can uh aries trust who are their allies in this situation judgment a scorpio for some of you guys okay <clears throat> for some of you guys it's scorpio others of you it is this person that comes back around they can be trusted in the near future but they cannot be trusted immediately also get a pisces scorpio vibe heavy on the water tell me a little bit more about who it is that aries can trust <laughs> five of wands here in reverse with the hierophant i don't know why i'm feeling the energy of trust the record trust the records uh <laughs> like maybe you've been seeing something online and you already know what's going on you already kind of know what's up because i'm also looking at this four of cups here and it's kind of like an energy of you already seen what you need to see or you already heard what it is that you that you really need to hear um, but it's not coming from this person. Whatever you've been doing is working and to continue doing that. Like I told you from the very beginning, you holding back emotionally, protecting your heart space is going to end up yielding some type of victory. And it's like if you turn this person away the first time that they come back around, you turn them maybe even away the second or third time that they come back around, they're going to come correct. I can see that here clearly. This is also a person that's not going to be taking no for an answer. They may take no for an answer for a week. They'd be back. Tell me more about judgment and the King of Cups being here. There's definitely somebody returning. King of Pentacles. Hmm. This is somebody coming back around, being trustworthy, being compassionate, being loving, being very forward. Five of Wands in reverse. That's releasing uh, a battle, a struggle, competition. It's also a Four of Wands energy. So it's somebody's position changing. Tell me one more thing about this. The Ten of Cups. This person realizes that you are their happiness. That they can get that with you. They have an emotional attachment. Definitely. Six of Wands with the devil here. Like they're going to end up telling you that they have experienced some type of victory. Like in a custody battle. In a separation. In a legal. Something legal. Or somebody took something from them. They got it back or they retrieved it. Something of that nature. Once you start to hear those details. Then you know that this person can be trusted. Okay. Um, who is it that uh, Aries should be aware of? Who should Aries be aware of? A younger uh, fire sign particularly. Be aware of the gossip. Things that you heard 
I know I keep hearing that. Be aware of the things that you've been hearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because see, this five of wands is like you've been watching this whole debacle. Whatever struggle or battle or confrontation this person has been going through, you've been sidelined. You know what I mean? But the, like whoever's involved in this situation, they don't know you know. They don't know you've been looking, seeing, watching, whatever the case may be. As far as be, what you should be aware of, you should be aware of what you heard. Page of Wands, Five of Wands is a Six of Wands energy. That's what's going to bring you some level of a victory. Paying attention to what you heard. Tell me one more thing about this with the Page of Wands and the Five of Wands. Tell me more about this page of wands with the five of wands, please. For Aries, the high priestess. She don't speak, baby. She does not speak about what it is that she knows. The knowledge is sacred. You know something. You know something. Could be involving a Leo. And then look, two of swords with the ten of pentacles. You're going to end up having some type of de decision to make. There's going to be some type of communication that comes out. How does Aries view this King of Wands? The Nine of Wands. The Aries Leo Sagittarius. Could be a father figure, someone who has a family. Two of Pentacles, or I'm sorry, two of Swords here in, rever in reverse. It's also an energy of like you not asking this person to choose you over their family, or not asking them um, to choose you being their family over somebody else. You wanting to make, you wanting them to make the best decision for themselves. You may have already told them that, but they don't know what's good for them yet. But they're going to find out what's good for them. Eh. <laughs> you guys possibly could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Someone who have a significant placement of Sagittarius. Or you could have a significant placement of Sagittarius. Some of you guys, this is going to end up uh, transpiring or revealing itself in Sagittarius season. What is the uh, outcome here for Aries? What's the outcome of this situation in November? What is the outcome in November? Ooh, you have a star. Coming out as an issue, there's still healing that needs to happen with the situation. Five of Pentacles, like I said, this is going to be an energy of um, it, choosing wisely. With the lovers and the Five of Pentacles, you may decide to walk away. Eight of Swords and the Ace of Wands. You're reserved, you're nervous about some type of new beginning with this person. Um... I think some of you guys are also worried that this person's energy or whatever's attached to them, this other person they may be attached to, you don't want it fucking up your shit. That's clear here. <laughs> Tell me one more thing about what the outcome is going to be. The chariot card. Five of swords, five of cups, with the six of cups. There's going, let me make it very clear that there's going to be a reconciliation with someone. And it may be a situation where you're like, you know what? Thank you for telling me the truth. That's all I really wanted. Thank you. I forgive you. But I want to be alone. Um, you know, maybe in another lifetime. <laughs> five of swords with the chariot. You know, five of cups, five of swords. There's, there's going to be some type of change in this dynamic. Uh, the five of wands in reverse. Being a four of wands, you're changing your position in this game. You're playing this game differently with this person. Okay. Let me get you some advice. What is the advice for Aries? Luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius. Now, I feel like that's a time prediction. I told you guys, Sagittarius season seems to be rather significant. Let's see when the new moon is in Sagittarius. Oh. It's 
on the 14th of December and it's also an eclipse. Interesting. It's a solar eclipse too. And look at this. Let me see. This says darkest before dawn. Okay. And then what you have there almost kind of looks like a bit of a solar eclipse. You're occupied by something though. I'm going to read it. Let's let's see what it says. The new moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. Heavily, I feel like things are still turning. Things are still developing. Hence, I told you when this person first comes back around, they hold your horses. There's something else that, there's something that's still changing or transpiring. This says, whatever is coming your way, it looks set to put a smile on your face. The new moon in Sagittarius can mark the restart of fun after a period of feeling low. The energy is adventurous and even willing to take a few risks, but be careful you don't bet the farm on something here as the wheel of fortune is still spinning. This card is about exploring life metaphorically by exchanging big ideas with others or just thinking about your own philosophy. Perhaps it's time to change your mind about something important. It can also signal that a trip away is coming up. If that's something you're working to achieve, um, I'm sorry, it can also signal that a trip away is coming up if that's something that you're working to achieve. But the overall message of this card is that whatever happens next will be some sort of gift, even if that simply means widening your world view. Count your blessings, <laughs> literally. Write them down or say them aloud. It says you need to laugh more. There. This is a wonderful time to start a course of study or teaching. Don't be narrow-minded. Start a week of gratitude practice via Facebook, a journal, or a blog. Sagittarius is the sign of fun, travel, exploration, and the great cosmic quest. It's the sign of big ideas. Its energy is expansive, upbeat, lucky, and divine. The new moon in Sagittarius exudes all this as does this card whenever you draw it. Nothing is set in stone with Sagittarius and an optimistic energy could attract all manner of good things if you tap into the energy by expecting the best. Now, crazy enough, I was sitting over here ignoring this. This is what was on the bottom of the deck. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon, look at this. The crescent moons, did I tell you? Something about December 14th, guys. And then what you have here, is full moon in Sagittarius. So this is a cycle, particularly something that possibly happened in the month of June, could have been at the end of May, could have been the very beginning of July. Something is going to be coming back around or there's gonna be some type of full cycle that comes into completion, but there are things that are still developing about it. So just be mindful. I wanna get you a stone oracle and then we're gonna call it a reading. What's the message for Aries? I know y'all probably think I'm crazy. I heard a noise in there. Pow, pow, bitch. Chitty, chitty, bang, bang. What? <laughs> okay. This says Libyan gold tequite. Tequite. Um, I have never seen this stone before in my life. Very beautiful. Very much so looks like the sun. Okay, I do feel like you guys are going to be going through some type of recharging. Uh, something about your solar plexus energy being reactivated. This says, what is it? A 28, a 28 million year old Saharan desert glass only found in, you guessed it, the Sahara Desert. This gem is yellow, but far from mellow. Who needs it? The navel gazing and brooding binge watchers anyone looking to hit hit the street with some extra swagger cancers where to put it hold libyan gold tequite or this card at your will center just above your navel yes solar plexus um and set some goals seriously make a list then call on the fiery beyond ancient energy of this stone to help you break through the burning desire to binge watch the day away when you're when to use it when your get up and go has ghosted you 
Banish your blahs. Rose quartz is the other stone that came out here. What it is, rose quartz is love in rock form. Who needs it? The over, the overly self-critical, sentient spiritual beings who love deeply, those in the healing arts, okay? Or those who want to be, where to put it? In spaces you want to zone safe and sacred, held with both hands to your heart with the utmost loving kindness. When to use it, when you feel like you always have to be the one to have it all figured out, to work the hardest, to hold it all together for everyone else. Rose Quartz gives us a pink cashmere covered platform to be soft, sweet, and open to spirit. It says, take care of your heart. Didn't I been telling you that? Take care of your heart, okay? That is your reading, Aries. I hope that this brought you a lot of love, light, and clarity. I really appreciate those of you that watched to the end of my readings. Thank you very much. Bye.